this is a Transtar. Okay. So this is our slightly, uh, this is more of our regional haul tractor. Okay. So there's no sleeper or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Alright, well I just did the ProStar Plus test drive with the uh, Cummins Power Okay. the other day. So. Alright, what do you think I'm looking for here? What would you, uh... As far as drivability, it's going to be very similar to a diesel. Yeah. I mean, this is you're going to be your Transtar with a Cummins Westport ISLG okay. with an Allison 3000 HS transmission. Um, we got a 75 diesel gallon equivalent back of cab. Yeah. Uh, CNG system in the back. Uh, we're offering a couple different configurations. Um, uh, on the 4x2, we're offering a 75 on the frame rail and a 57 on the frame rail. Okay. On the 6x4, we're offering both of them as well as a 75 back of cab. And as customer requests come in, we're adding additional tank configurations. Okay. It's a lot quieter than diesel, isn't it? It's very quiet. Your compression ratio is a lot lower, um, which helps that. And you're using spark plugs, so you're not having a diesel yeah. combustion event. So we got. Engine's 320 horsepower, 1,000 foot-pound torque, so it's got okay. yeah, so it's got some pretty good giddy up. Uh, 66,000 pounds is what they recommend. Uh, 80,000. You're gonna want to take a right, right yeah. up here. Um, 80,000 pounds um, max on flatland. Cummins wants to see all requests for that, so they would be the ones to sign off on that. Yeah. Um, you get into hilly terrain or mountains, there's no way. But uh, on Flatland, uh, there are a number of companies uh, that do do it at 80,000 pounds. And this is the Transtar, right? This is the Transtar, yep. So we got a 107-inch bumper to back a cab with a sloped hood, so you get, this is going to have some really good uh, visibility compared to some of our competitors. Okay. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Jason can edit it. Let's go. This, these things got so much memory in it, I figure I'll just do the entire thing and yeah, we can edit it. edit it out. Yeah, it's much quieter, but there's no discernible, I mean, it's got plenty of get up and go. How important is the manual, trans, is the automatic transmission on that? The way they have it, that's the only transmission that's set up at 3,000 or 3,500. Yeah. So it's just the way that... Um, but you can set the shift points to sort of... You can set the shift. Yep. ...or compress natural gas, right? I mean, typically, if you want, typically you either have econ mode first and then performance secondary, or you can swap that, or you could do the manual mode. Um, it just sort of depends if you're looking for performance or economy. We turning right here. Um, you're gonna turn right after that uh, SUV up there. Okay. Is that me? I don't think so. So we're gonna make a ride on capital. Yep. I've done so, the drive every year, but you know, you, it hasn't changed. First, yeah, it never changes, but it's my first lap, so I want to make sure I'm doing it right. Yeah, I asked the guy yesterday, and I'm like, ah, oh, this is my fourth year, I think, okay, doing this. Yeah. Are we good? So, you enjoying the show? Yeah, it's been good. We're about to get out of here, so. Uh, Where's gonna, home at? Uh, we're out of Alabama. Okay. So, I in this lane, I guess I we're at in Alabama. Tuscaloosa. Okay. So you got to be a big Alabama fan. I'm a third generation alum. I got to go to the uh, LSU game last Did year. You? The one last year? No, the one which we lost on. <laughs> the field goal, the five missed field goals. Uh, I, I was. Are you an LSU fan? No, no, no. I'm an. Well, I went to Northern Illinois University. Yeah. So, but uh, my good friend, his dad's the uh, dealer in Alabama. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, What's that guy's name? Uh, uh, Andrew Lynn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he sort of converted me to Alabama as yeah, far yeah. as a team that has a chance of winning. Uh, <laughs> so, right, um, right now it's more than a chance. It's, uh, it's a, a dynasty. dynasty. Yeah. It's a nice way of saying Saban it. Saban is, uh, he's, uh, he's really putting it together pretty well. I know, he's doing a good job. And yeah, he's worth all the money he's getting. Yeah, let me put it this way. There's just no place like going there for tailgating, though. It's fun. Well, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, no, it was a blast. You'll have to, uh, we always do a tent down there. You need to come by and say hey next yeah, time. No, absolutely. I got. I tried to get out to a game this year, but we got a, a baby. So uh, there's a couple potholes down here. The wife didn't go for it this year, but hopefully when he's a little bit older. Get him some crimson gear and he'll be good to go. <laughs> no, no, you're going to go up another one. One more? Yep. Okay.
But it's fun watching them play right now. They're really doing a nice job. So I had uh, we have a lot of Notre Dame uh, alum yeah, in I'm the sure. office. I'm sure. And uh, it was pretty funny before the uh, championship game. I was, uh, was telling them, I said, it's not going to be as close as you think it's going to be. You're going to want to get one lane over. Okay. And uh, they were pretty confident until that following uh, Tuesday morning. Well, I think they were well, pretty chatty. They were, uh, yeah, when, that, when they put that fourth unanswered touchdown in, that was, uh, that kind of ended that. You know, I sort of Northern got to play Florida yeah. in one of the ball games. I mean, I, I thought it was cool we made it. I mean, I didn't think we had much of a chance. Yeah, it was sort of like that. I mean, it, Notre Dame wasn't really in there. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't much of a game. No, they, you're just gonna follow this guy. Yeah, I'm following. Him. Um, yeah, Bama, Bama crushed him pretty good. So, oh. Ooh. Uh, I appreciate that. I just did get the alignment done on this truck. Yeah. So what are you guys seeing as far as CNG? It's uh, it's just coming on stronger and stronger every every show. I mean, there's more. The take rate, I think, is surprising some people. It's getting up there. I mean, yeah. this year specifically, it's uh, there's a lot of excitement on the refuse. It's uh, unbelievable. It's, Refuse is yeah, it's gonna. I think it'll be the dominant fuel. I thought I found it interesting. You guys, it, was it the new Lodestar? Yeah. You guys brought that out first with CNG, which was. Yeah, that'll be with the uh, ISLG when we yeah. do in fact. Yeah, release it. I think that's the first time a, a truck has ever launched with a natural gas engine instead of a diesel. Which, that, that says a lot about where where things are going. And uh, it's uh, interesting times, that's for sure. This thing, will, this thing will go. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Even with 66,000 pounds, yeah. you can get it up and running. Going pretty good. And as far as operation goes, it's pretty much the same as yeah. the diesel from yeah. the operator standpoint. I mean, the biggest difference you're going to have is obviously the fuel gauge right. is going to have to analyze the pressure in the yeah. tank. So there's a conversion going on in that. And when we get back, I'll show you how the tank works. Uh, you can kill it. I think that's plenty of video for it. Oh, okay. Yeah.